you know, I'm from the town of Georgia, which is like 30 minutes south of here. Yeah, we were there on Friday. Been there and done Friday. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, I say great town, by the way. Oh, great yeah. oh yeah. Yeah, we got treated great. We're big in McDonald's. Wind blew a little bit on Friday, but we were good. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> But uh, like I said, growing up in McDonough, Georgia, and getting the chance to play for the hometown team, Georgia Tech, I can't ask for anything more. It's been truly, truly a blessing, truly an honor to get to do this, and I'm very excited that I got to come to Tech. Now, Stephen, we understand that uh, you've learned a great deal during your time with the Georgia Institute of Technology. <laughs> but we also understand that you have uh, learned a great deal under the tutelage of Coach Al Groh. Tell us about your experience. Coach Groh. Oh, oh, oh you're, you're saying you want him to do his impression of Coach Grove? I'm just saying, Coach Grove, what, what, what have you learned from being around Steven Sylvester? That's what I want to know, Coach Grove. From being around Steven Sylvester, I'd say that the kid is a class act. <laughs> <laughs> he comes to work every day, great attitude, leads in meetings, and it's just been an honor to coach him for the past two years. <laughs> Coach Grove, somehow I knew oh my that is God. exactly oh what you would say about Steven Sylvester. Now, now that Steven's back with us, I want to ask you a question. We talked to Jason about this, and we talked about the old learning curve when it comes to the 3-4 defense. Jason said that learning curve was rather steep. You're a smart guy. You go to summer school. <laughs> was it was it really that steep of a learning curve? It really was. It really was. Coming from the 4-3 um, and going straight into the 3-4, Coach Grove didn't waste any time in teaching us the basics of it. And just listening to the basics of it, you're like, oh, wow, I bit off a little more than I can chew. Mm. But after sitting in the meeting room with him for a while, and he and he's a great coach, he knows his stuff, and he breaks, breaks it down really easy so that you can understand it. So after a couple of meetings and getting a chance to sit and talk with him for a while, it, it, it kind of sped up. Like, I would assume being the old outside linebacker, there's a lot of stuff that you can do in this defense. There you, is. You kind of like being an outside linebacker in this scheme, do you not? I do, I do. I get a chance to play in space, but also show that I can come off the edge and, and, right. play, and play a traditional linebacker. So I've loved, I've loved it so far. 